लाइफ प्रूफ लर्निंग अबाउट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स ब्लड अ फ्लूड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू ट्रांसपोर्ट्स फूड ऑक्सीजन एंड वेस्ट मटेरियल्स इन आवर बॉडीज ब्लड कंसिस्ट ऑफ फ्लूड मीडियम कॉल्ड प्लाज्मा इन व्हिच द सेल्स आर सस्पेंडेड प्लाज्मा ट्रांसपोर्ट्स फूड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड नाइट्रोजीनियस वेस्ट्स इन डिसॉल्व फॉर्म आवर पंप that is the heart the heart is a muscular organ which is as big as our fist the heart has different chambers to prevent the oxygen rich blood from mixing with the blood containing carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide rich blood has to reach the lungs for the carbon dioxide to be removed and the oxygenated blood from the lungs has to be brought back to the heart oxygen rich blood from the lungs comes to the thin walled upper chamber of the heart on the left that is the left atrium the left atrium relaxes when it is collecting this blood and then contracts while the next chamber in the left ventricle expands so that the blood is transferred to it deoxygenated blood comes from the body to the upper chamber on the right that is the right atrium as it expands as the right atrium contracts the corresponding lower chamber the right ventricle dilates oxygen enters the blood in the lungs the separation of the right side and the left side of the heart is useful to keep oxygenated and deoxygenated blood from mixing such separation allows a highly efficient supply of oxygen to the body this is useful in animals that have high energy needs such as birds and mammals which constantly use energy to maintain their body temperature Many reptiles have three chambered hearts and tolerate some mixing of the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood streams. Fishes on the other hand have only two chambers to their hearts and the blood is pumped to the gills is oxygenated there and passes directly to the rest of the body. The tubes that is the blood vessels Arteries are the vessels which carry blood away from the heart to various organs of the body. Since the blood emerges from the heart under high pressure, the arteries have thick elastic walls. Vents collect the blood from different organs and bring it back to the heart. They do not need thick walls because the blood is no longer under pressure. instead they have valves that ensure that the blood flows only in one direction the artery divides into smaller and smaller vessels to bring the blood in contact with all the individual cells the smallest vessels have valves which are one cell thick and are called capillaries which join together to form vents that convey the blood away from the organ or tissue maintenance by platelets think about situations when we are injured and start bleeding naturally the loss of blood from the system has to be minimized the blood has platelet cells which circulate around the body and plug these leaks by helping to clot the blood at these points of injury lymph fluid is another type of fluid involved in transportation through the pores present in the walls of capillaries some amount of plasma proteins and blood cells escape into intercellular spaces in the tissues to form the tissue fluid or lymph transportation in plants 
for plants the soil is the nearest and richest source of raw materials like nitrogen phosphorus and other minerals the absorption of these substances therefore occurs through the part in contact with the soil namely roots plants bodies have a large proportion of dead cells in many tissues as a result plants have low energy needs plant transport systems will move energy stored from leaves and raw materials from roots these two pathways are constructed as independently organized conducting tubes one the xylem moves water and minerals obtained from the soil the other is phloem transport products of photosynthesis from the leaves where they are synthesized to other parts of the plant transport of water in xylem tissue vessels and tracheids of the roots stems and leaves are interconnected to form a continuous system of water conducting channels reaching all parts of the plant at the roots cells in contact with the soil actively take up ions summary in human beings the transport of materials such as oxygen carbon dioxide food and excretory products is a function of the circulatory system the circulatory system consists of the heart blood and blood vessels in highly differentiated plants transport of water minerals food and other materials is a function of the vascular tissue which consists of xylem and phloem that is all in this topic let us learn about excretion in our next topic